Roya Diamond is too loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond Studios video. Husband abandons wife with cancer. What happens next will shock you. Let's get into it, guys. Hey, babe, I'm back. Kath, Kathy, what are, what, are, what are you doing back? Uh, I got done with chemo early today. What's with all the boxes? Hey, why don't... Uh... Why don't we go upstairs and talk? Give me a sec. I'm sorry. I'm so nauseous. I'm trying to be strong. But it's like this chemo is taking the life out of me. The only good thing. I just gotta say, he looking at her like he discussed it with her. How could you marry somebody and not want to take care of them when they're sick? thing I have in my life right now is you. Look, now's probably not the best time to tell you this, but I... Hey, babe, we should get going before... Oh. Oh. Jess? What are you doing here? They Hi, know Kathy. each other? I hadn't realized you were home. I don't understand what's going on. Why don't, uh, why don't we all go into the other room and talk? No, Eric. You're gonna tell me right now what's happening. I... Uh, Jess, why don't you start taking some boxes to the car, huh? I need a minute. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry, Kathy. There's no easy way to say this, but... I've been seeing Jess. Look, you're sick, and it doesn't look like you're gonna get any better, so I've gotta start thinking about my own future, you know? Wow. Your future? He just lost all faith in her getting better, so he's like, well, before you die on me, I'ma just leave you before it happens. What about me? Do you know how much I'm going through? <sighs> what, you think this isn't hard on me? I've had to sit by your side and watch you struggle with cancer. That isn't easy, you know? I don't get it. I don't understand that he said it's not easy to sit by her side and watch her struggle with cancer like he care about her. But it's like, dude, that should be, it should be even harder for you to leave her knowing that she has cancer. She's in more pain than you know. What about our vows, Eric? Or richer or poorer, in sickness and health. What about what you said to me when you found out I had cancer? What are you talking about? How could you forget? I think this is the test results from the lab. I'm so nervous to open it. What if it's cancer? Hey, 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 hey. We don't know what it says yet. So just open the letter. It's cancer. It's cancer. Hey, 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 hey. Look at me, Kathy, look at me. You're gonna get through this, okay? We are gonna get through this. What happened to Together. the we? Okay. Together? But what if you don't want me anymore? I don't wanna be alone. You will never be alone. Kathy, remember. For richer or for poorer, Sickness, as well as health. I'll always be by your side. I love you. You see, you said we would be in this together. And I believed you, Eric. Well, I'm sorry. Things change. I can't do this anymore. 
So that's it? Dang, he just You're gave just up on me. You're just gonna leave me like this? Yep. I'm going to be all alone. Jess and I are moving in together. I think it's best if you hear it from me first. I hope everything works out for you. I, I hate seeing you like this. Oh, you know, I was thinking about a divorce. I mean, given the circumstances, it doesn't really seem necessary. Dang, he go bring up the divorce and then say, well, it doesn't seem necessary because you might die is basically what he's saying. Like, well, since you're dying, like, we don't even have to worry about getting a divorce. Why spend the money if you're just going to... Never mind. Wow. I'll, uh... Art. I'll just come back later when you're not here to pick up all this stuff. Okay. Kathy is devastated. Eric goes on and starts his new life with Jess. Now that he doesn't have to worry about Kathy anymore, he doesn't seem to have a concern in the world. But then one day, a few months later, Eric had gotten his recent test results back from the lab and he was opening up the letter. It turns out, Eric has cancer. He couldn't believe it. Eric has to start chemotherapy right- Karma came back cause like he got cancer and she probably gonna leave him for somebody else. Right away and his health quickly goes downhill. As he deals with this sickness, Jess decides she isn't gonna stick around anymore and leaves him. Mm, mm, mm. That's what you did to your wife. And then a few years later, Eric happens to see Kathy. Kathy? You're alive. Eric. I almost didn't recognize you. He's a what alive and yeah, what? Same thing about you. You look great. But I don't I don't understand. How, how how did you I beat it. I beat the cancer. When you left. It was really hard, but I kept fighting, and eventually I got better. And now I'm cancer free. And she's married. Please oh, say she's married. So great. I'm so happy for you. What about you? Are you okay? A few months after we broke up, I got diagnosed with colon cancer. Jess couldn't handle it, so she left me. Oh, no. That's what you did to her. Kathy, I just want to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, for the way I handled everything. It's okay. Maybe, maybe we try it again, hmm? Just so tired of being alone. Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I feel like if someone left me for a reason like that, you know what I'm saying? When I was down and bad, how could I ever take you back? Like, don't get me wrong, I will forgive you. And you know, when we see each other in passing, we'll speak or whatever. But just you leaving me damn near my deathbed. I can't, I can't be with somebody like that. Like you showed your true colors. That was you. So it shows that you and me were never meant to be together. That's how I see it. I mean, comment, how, what would y'all do if y'all was in this predicament? Thanks, Eric. I really hate seeing you like this, but I don't think it would ever work. There's just too much pain there. Really, I wish you the best of luck. You lost her for good. I 
Hey, Darman fam. I hope you love that message about if someone doesn't believe in you during your worst, then they don't deserve to be with you during your best. I appreciate you watching and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.